Joshua chapter 21. Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out for the family of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Merari by their families had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities, which are here mentioned by name, which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had, for theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs thereof round about. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron the priest Hebron with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatir with her suburbs, and Eshtemona with her suburbs, and Holon with her suburbs, and Debir with her suburbs, and Ain with her suburbs, and Jutta with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anathoth with her suburbs, Ammon with her suburbs, four cities. And the cities of the children of Aaron the priests were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with her suburbs in Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and Kibzaim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, four cities, and out of the tribe of Dan, El Thika with her suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Ajalon with her suburbs, and Githrimon, Gathrimon with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh, with her suburbs, and Gathrimon, with her suburbs, two cities. And the cities were ten with their suburbs for the families of the children of Kohath that remained. And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half-tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan, with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Beshtera, with her suburbs, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Dabara with her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, Enganim with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helkath with her suburbs, Rehob with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, Hamath. Hamath Thor with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, three cities. And of the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And unto the family of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jochneem with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, Dimna with her suburbs, Nahalal with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with her suburbs, and Jehaza with her suburbs, and Kedemoth with her suburbs, and Mephath 
with her suburbs four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer. And Mahanim with her suburbs, Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of Levites, were by their lot twelve cities. And all the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty and eight cities with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them. Thus were all these cities. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Here we see in this chapter that we have a fulfillment of a requirement that Moses gave to the Levites and to the children of Israel that each that the, the tribes of the Levites, the people that were Levites, uh, were to have cities and some suburbs, which was a narrow strip of land uh, right around the city. And remember, this was because when Moses had come down from the mountain with the tab tablets of stone, and the golden calf was there, and he had called the people who wish to worship God to come to him, that the entire Levite tribe, which was the tribe of Moses, had responded positively and gone over to Moses. And they were the only tribe of which everybody did. And so eventually, the entire tribe of the Levites became God's special inheritance, and they became, uh, and he was their inheritance. And so instead of, they did not get a geographical territory as the children, as all the other tribes did. Their inheritance was from the offerings that were offered by, by people. And they would, that was their entire thing. They would get the cities, and it turns out there were 48 cities, but that's, in the suburbs around for their cattle, but that was basically their inheritance. And then in the last three chapters, we find some really uh, interesting things that, that happened. It's sort of a bittersweet situation there because we find that uh, the Lord gives unto the children of Israel all the land that he s swear unto the fathers he was going to give them. We see that there is nobody who is no enemy who is standing up to them. None. And there is nothing that he promised them that he doesn't give them. And the problem with that is that because the people had not done everything they should have as honorably as they should have, because they were not living as righteously as they could have, the Lord couldn't do everything for them that he wanted to. He did what he swore he would do. But the People needed to be righteous. They needed to be aggressively righteous. They needed to be faithful and valiant as, as their leaders were, as Joshua was, as Caleb was. And they weren't. And because they weren't that righteous and weren't that valiant, the land was still occupied by heathen idol worshippers who sacrificed children and adults unto God for getting rain. So all of these things just... This was a very bittersweet time because God did everything he could, but the people didn't do the stuff they should, so they didn't get all the blessings that they could have had. 